We are uh, doing our last and final inspection of the 2023 season and we're just putting uh, empty frames into a box that we'll store for the winter. And yeah, we're just trying to get full boxes of honey and they've got enough space in there. They can continue to fill the few little spots they have in a few of the frames and any that are mostly empty, we're all empty, we're gonna take out. Well, that one's got a bunch of pollen in it. One side is pollen, one side is, well, they still got brood on there. So we want that. Right? Yep. Okay, that's spotty brood on this side. I don't know. That's a more spotty brood. Guess we are keeping that. Oh yeah. There's not much dexterity with these classic beekeeper gloves. I would call them Jurassic beekeeper gloves. Jurassic. That are ancient and <laughs> Don't say that word. I'm cutting that out. We're here in Ammon's colony and they've been, we've got a queen excluder underneath this box and they've been pretty busy. We're closing up the hive, so we're gonna reduce the number of supers. And unlike other people, we like to wait to take the honey in the spring when we know the hive will survive. Many hives die in the early spring, and that's because of starvation pretty often. So we just leave them all the honey we can. And if there's any extra, we'll just store it just in case they end up needing it. All right, what you're seeing in here is the formic acid strips that we left in here, they've been in there for probably 20 days now. We'll probably pull them out, put them in the compost box. Queen's like, in the frame somewhere. Can you guys find her? I don't know where she went. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're following her. I think she has a more consistently better brood pattern than my queen, but she just doesn't lay much. Okay, now that we've done each hive, what we're going to do is... Close up our extra bee boxes, and some of the frames have wax and stuff, and we want to keep the wax moss out, so the way we're going to do that is with cedar chips. So this is uh, just the chainsaw shavings. So what we're going to do is put a plate of this between each box. I really smell it. <laughs> We're gonna do that. Put this down. There's some airflow that'll come through there. Wait, why are you putting the top cover there? Just because it's a nice flat surface so things don't get in. We need to put some cedar chips in between these 